just i summarize the questions what we have discussed we have seen january 2023 statistics one questions question a y equal to 151.2 plus 2.72 times x give an interpretation of the gradient of the regression line y equal to 151.2 plus 2.72 x is in the form of y equal to mx plus c m is equal to 2.72 m is rise over run two point rise is 2.72 run is one and increase of one degree centigrade will allow 2.72 gram to dissolve question 6b use the regression line to estimate the maximum weight of sugar that will dissolve in 100 grams of water when the temperature is 90 degree actually they have given the range where um, just we have we will go that y equal to 151.2 plus 2.72 times x so in place of x you substitute 90 degree so it will be 396 question 6c comment on reliability of your estimate giving a reason for your answer they have given range x is equal to greater than 10 and less than 80 but it is 90 degree so it is out of the range so it is unreliable unreliable 90 degrees out of the range question 6d they have given some data so that pmcc r equal to 0.988 we will see the data before that uh, list out the all the formulas of regression line y equal to a plus bx a equal to y bar minus bx bar y bar equal to sigma y over n x bar equal to sigma x over n b equal to s x y over s x x s x is equal to sigma x square minus square of sigma x over n s y y sigma y square minus square of sigma y over n s x y sigma x y minus uh, sigma x times sigma y over n Again, given the data uh, y equal to 151.2 plus 2.72x. This is in the form of y equal to a plus bx. So a is equal to 151.2, b equal to 2.72. Sigma y, sigma y squared, sigma x squared, n. This data they have given in the questions. You can see in the questions. Okay. Now we will solve the question. What is our PMCC? What is the formula SXY? Uh, over square root of s x is times x y y s y y first we will find because all the data are given sigma y squared minus square of sigma y over n uh, sigma y squared is given sigma y is given and n is 12 if you substitute 40412.91666 uh, we are finding uh, till four decimal places because the uh, they ask the result in three decimal places if they ask the result in three decimal places you have to find four decimal places one more uh, SXX equal to sigma x squared minus square of sigma x over n. Uh, sigma, sigma, sigma x squared they have given, n is given, but sigma x is not given. Uh, so we cannot find. Uh, but we can find the x bar. x bar equal to sigma x over n. Uh, if we find the x bar, then we can find the sigma x x bar times n. How we can find x bar? A equal to y bar minus b x bar. Um, b x um, B, I am rearranging B x bar equal to y bar minus A, x bar equal to y bar minus A over B. I am substituting all the values 3109 over 12 minus 151.2 divided by 2.72 will give uh, 39.9693. And if it is multiplied by N, we will get sigma x 479.6323. So, yes, x, x, I am substituting uh, sigma x values. I am getting 5329.4005. So, now, uh, yes, x, x, we found, yes, y, y, we found, yes, x, y, we have to find, yes, x, y, what is the formula? Sigma x, y minus sigma x times sigma y over n. Sigma x, y data is not given. So it is difficult to find SXY in this formula. So what is the other formula to find B equal to SXY over SXX? SXY equal to B times SXX, 2.72 times 5329.40005. If you do it, 14495.9693. If you substitute all these values, R equal to SXY over square root of SX times SYY, you will get to 0.9876.988. We have proven. We have proved. 6C, they have given one graph. 
in the next page. They are telling uh, with reference to the scatter diagram and the correlation coefficient, discuss the suitability of the linear regression model uh, to describe the relationship between X and Y. Okay, we will come there. This is the graph they have given. You can see all these uh, dotted lines are closer to uh, one straight line. So it, it supports linear regression model. It supports linear regression model for two reasons. The points lie close to the straight line. Then the second is R equal to 0 0.988, close to one. When uh, So it supports linear regression model. When X is zero, Y is 151.2. Okay, when x increases, y will increase 2.72 times of x. Thank you. I hope you have understood the questions. Um, for any doubts, you can contact me. My mobile number plus 974-668-96379. Thank you for watching my video. Keep growing.